Good afternoon, I'm Laura and welcome to 108 News Grad Special. Today we will be covering the graduation of last year's grade 12s, which took place this past weekend. Last year, Mark Friesen won the Val Victorian Award. Here is what he had to say. At this time, it is my sincere pleasure to introduce the graduating class of 2010's choice as valedictorian, Mr. Mark Friesen. May the force be with you, my son. Thank you. I would like to congratulate all the graduates at this time. And I thank you for giving me this opportunity to give this speech on your behalf. As you are probably aware, high school is nothing like learning how to harvest a pineapple. But it is a lot like baking a cake. At the beginning of our time here at GSS, we were all separate ingredients. Grade 10 is when the, the mixing of the ingredients occurred. Moving onward and forward in our baking experience, we arrive at grade 11. The person baking begins to stir more strongly, and we end up in the oven, whose heat is increasing slowly, but at a constant rate. It is at this time we are first told of a life beyond high school, a beautiful world of, of pizza, craft dinner, and freedom. Grade 12, the school seemed a lot smaller, although I was still discovering washrooms I never knew existed. <laughs> this was when the heat of the oven began to, to be turned up way beyond a sensible level. Work hard, do your homework, get high marks. What do you mean there's a test tomorrow? Get my brown pants. To formally conclude this speech, I needed the right quote. I think I found it. A long time ago, a certain green puppet uttered one of the most famous quotes this or any other galaxy has ever heard. Truer words have never been spoken. And I quote, it's not easy being green. That's an example of the wrong quote. <laughs> However, there's another green puppet that said something much more philosophical seven years after Kermit the Frog said that. This one said, Try not, do or do not, there is no try. Thank you. During commencement, Mr. Haywood and a DSBN representative both gave great speeches. Now here's Callum with the story. I'm here with 108 News covering the commencement for the graduates of 2009-2010. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As principal of this great school, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to our 85th commencement ceremonies. Now, on behalf of all GSS staff and students, I would like to extend a very special welcome back to our graduates of 2010. Do you remember back to grade nine day when you just started high school? Probably similar to the recent experiences as many of you have just started university or college or employment. But somehow I'm betting they didn't take you out to the back football field and cover you with syrup and oatmeal. My pleasure to be here this afternoon to bring greetings from the District School Board of Niagara. Today is your graduating day and it's a celebration not only of past endeavors because you've worked hard to get here along with the support that staff and families have given you along the way. But it's also a celebration of your future endeavors. Catherine was awarded the Governor General's Medal for having the highest grade average in her final two years. In grade 12, she managed to pass four university-bound courses with a mark of 100%. I'm Cal, signing out. Commencement was a huge success this year at GSS. From all of us here at 108 News, I'm Laura. And I'm Peter. Thanks for watching.